Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Mike with Sunny Slope. Today, uh, well, we got some torrential rain pours last night and uh, our pond filled up a little bit. So why it's been just tearing through that pond with this four wheeler, the other one's down on with repairs, uh, but we're gonna go down there because he has a guest with him and we never thought this guest would get into water because he doesn't like being sprayed with the hose. Let's go check it out. Oh boy, look at that. <laughs> oh, you wet dog, you wet dog. Go get it. Finally, we got a dog that loves water. <laughs> that was because of me. <laughs> he hated the water, then I started running across it, playing with it. <laughs> And you got it in. Oh, here he comes. Hi. <laughs> Can I have it? Uh, I think he likes water a lot. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's go down and check out this pond. Ah, uh, I think this will make it up that greasy hill. We'll find out, but. Did. Yeah. Well, your four wheeler did, but I don't know. It's, yeah, this should have no problem at all getting up and down the hill. Yeah, I got four-wheel drive, but let's go down there and talk about this pond because I'm going to need some suggestions from you guys because, well, let's go down there and just talk about it. Oh, it's slick as snot. Oh, yeah, I'm sliding. What you doing, boy? You got yourself a stick? Oh, you better not be coming around the backside. Oh no, no, don't be jumping on me. Oh, you're, he's gonna be running down here all the time now. I'm gonna teach him how to run hard and him get excited and come running out down here. But only when there's water so he has fun. Hey bud, I, I think you got something on your face. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. I think I think you're growing a full fledged beard. Oh, that's a big stick right there. <laughs> yeah, he wants that big stick. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> That's the joy of having a Connie Corso is he'll drag logs. Found a stick on the ground and now I'm gonna use it. All this power that I found, gonna totally abuse it. Did you get it, boy? Did you get it? He says, I got it good, Dad. I got it good. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's going to paw that thing. Fetch it, boy. Fetch it. So the problem I'm having is this thing dries up and I want to dredge it out. Oh, he found something. I want to dredge it out, but, and I want to spend some money down here and actually put like some sand and pull the trees back and make it look really nice down here. But it just doesn't hold water folks. And 
The people before, they had a... Uh oh, we might get wet. The people before us, oh man, they had a liner in here. So I'm looking for cheap methods to get this dirt packed down uh, on the cheap, whether it's bringing clay, bet night, if there's some kind of miracle <laughs> cheap fix to get this thing to hold water. Or I thought about, ah, ah, I thought about getting those old, um, uh, those signs, like uh, the street billboard signs. When they're done using them, that's a real thick vinyl and people use them for uh, tarping and everything like that. I figured I could line the pond with that. That would be a cheap way to do it because they practically give those things away. So tell me, tell me cheap, effective ways to get this pond to hold water without breaking the bank. Because for one thing, this is, a, this is never going to be a real clean pond. This pond is everybody's runoff and you can tell after a big rain it gets real muddy. So it's never going to be, it's never going to be a real fancy clean little pond. But I would like to clean all this up, push these trees back. I want to plant some pines up there. Get all these things taken care of and make this a nice area to sit down by. Um, obviously, this is a lot of stuff that I got to burn still, but you can kind of see the liner right there. There's the liner right here floating up. So there's a liner in here still, but it doesn't hold water for nothing. I can imagine, I imagine this stuff will be gone, I don't know, matter of a couple days. <laughs> you okay, bud? <laughs> I wasn't going to drive a four-wheeler down here. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> I wasn't going to drive a four-wheeler down here. I'll drive the UTV down here and uh, play around a little bit. Wyatt, you've been down here for, what, a couple hours now? Yeah. And Gunder. Oh, yeah. So, Gunder. <laughs> Gunder here. I want to show you. I want to talk about this real quick. Oh, Gunder, right here, he ran down that hill full blast going after this guy. And he hits that water so fast, he didn't know it was water. He's never been in water before. So he hit this water, and it was just like, boosh. The look on his face was classic classic he didn't know what he just ran into he thought it was just funny looking ground he hit that water and he was rolling in the water trying to stop and back pedal and get himself out oh you thought there was a monster in here trying to get him it was absolutely hilarious then after a short amount of time you can't get him out of this water he's having a great old time Oh God! Oh, he's getting muddy everywhere. We're gonna try this in two wheel drive. See how we do. Sun's been tearing it up. Sun's been tearing it up. Sun's been tearing it up. I don't think he's coming back with his four wheeler. Polaris Ranger should be able to get in here. Let's give it a shot. This is where the spring comes in, so it's a little sloppy right here. drive hello hey bud what's up pretty easy all right I don't have much room to turn around here so <laughs> we're gonna try to whip a cookie Whew. all right well we did it <laughs> you know you gotta give that dog a bath, right? Yeah, I mean, might as well have some fun with him. Yep. God, this stuff's like slime. Look at this hole. He made that with the tractor. <laughs> yeah. So you could tell. I mean, it's a it's a good sized little area. The house is right up there on the hill, and our goats are right up here, and we have all this land back here that we kind of don't use for anything, and. What I thought is I could put pigs down here and they would pack all this stuff down, 
But if they were filled with water, I'd have to get them out and put them somewhere else because this is nothing but a big old bowl. So I thought about maybe raising some pigs up here where you see this trail. See if I can get you. So you can see this trail. I thought about raising some pigs and just fencing this whole area off here. And then from there, you know, pigs, they'll pack this stuff down. But my future plans is I'm going to push all these trees back, get some sunlight in this pond because it fills up with weeds like no one's business. But yeah, whatever tricks you guys have, let me know. I figured I'd catch my son down here with this four-wheeler playing in the water. But he's playing with his dog, and that works even better. So uh, let's see if I can make it up this greasy hill and call it a night. Oh, look at that sunset. That's a, that's a beautiful sunset. Beautiful sunset. I actually love I mean this this area is a nice area if you just you know took care of the mosquitoes and the mud and you know fixed it up you love little views like that shining through the trees Doo -doo -doo. all right let's go oh that's a hole I'm gonna want to get a straight shot at this. I gotta make it up that little hill. I mean, you can tell water's a little deep, but uh, yeah, I gotta make it up that hill, and that thing is slick as a ah, I don't know, whatever slick, but I gotta make it up the hill. You gonna think I'll get you think I'll get up there? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, you can get up there. We'll give it a shot. I've gotten this thing stuck plenty of times before. I can kinda know what it does and can't do, but we'll give it a shot. Alright, he's out of the way. I'm going for it. Oh, I'm still in reverse. Let's put that in forward and go that way. Like a glove! <laughs> Woohoo! We made it up the hill. That guy's running out of steam though. <laughs> Are you tired? Are you tired? Oh, don't touch me. Nope, nope, nope. Get away. Get away from me. You nasty dog, you. Guess who gets to give him a bath? <laughs> Then you gotta get in the shower. <laughs> Do you have dirt in your? Oh no! Oh, you got it all in your stash and everything. <laughs> <laughs> fell a couple of times. Huh? I fell a couple of times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yep, you don't like that one bit. Well, you guys, give me some ideas for this pond that are real cost effective, something cheap, some backwoods method of doing that for back person almost nothing because. It could be a failed attempt back there and I don't want to spend a whole lot of money trying to make it look nice if it ain't ever going to be nice because of where it's at. So I'll stop running my mouth. Oh, we got to get this dog washed up. So I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you on the next episode. <laughs>